So maybe you can't hear me right now, but uh, it's Black Friday, and uh, there's already been one shooting, not in, not in this in this mall, but uh, rather in a, a, a Walmart, and uh, it's just it's just crazy. It it is just crazy here, like. I, I didn't know I was such a sen uh, trendsetter with uh, uh, the black dark clothing and white shoes, but um, I it's. It, 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 uh,
look down at all the escalators. It's a lot less busy now. And I'm at the car show. Annual event. It's uh, it's full. This is uh, my dashboard, all the indicators. I have my blinkers on because my car broke down and uh, uh, my seatbelt light is on because I don't have my seatbelt on because I'm parked, as you can see right there. Um, I do have the tire indicator on, but that's because of a different thing. And my overdrive was on while I was parked and I, I might as well turn it off, but there are no other indicators on about why my car broke down. And I will tell you that I went to a mechanic in my neighborhood and uh, I kept going back to them because my engine, I first went to them because of an engine light and then two days later, or actually a day later but it was two days until I started driving it again and it was actually you know an hour or two into me driving and there were no reasons for the light to come back on so I went back to them and they were like oh yeah it's uh it's gonna be you know this thing and because of the thing before you know it led to a problem now and I was like oh okay and then uh, uh, the next day, it came back on, the check engine light. So I went back to them, and I was like, hey, can you stop giving it to me? I, I should have said, can you stop giving it to me uh, when when there's something wrong with it? Can you inspect it, you know, after you've already, fi after you've fixed the problem? <sighs> uh run another diagnostic after you fix a problem. See if there are any more problems. Anyway, um, now there's, there's no indicator as to why my car um, was giving me way less power and it was actually rocking the car and then there was smoke coming out from under my hood. So, um, yeah, this is my dashboard. I'm this is this is my dashboard. I'm not hiding any any lights. I'm not hiding any lights as to why it's broken. Okay. Um I don't know how blasphemous it is to put vodka in a whiskey glass, but I really want to try out this, this eggnog, and um, I, I want to, I want to, you know, uh, liquor up this eggnog, so that's what I'm going to do. Let me just put this down. Freshly sealed. If if it's been opened, you need to send it back. And they completely understand. They will try to write that wrong. This has been in the freezer um, since before Thanksgiving, since way before Thanksgiving. Maybe there's too much vodka already. I don't know how to do um, alcohol. I just, uh, <laughs> it's so hard to get the measurements right. Oh, I have a, 
I do have one of these, but um, that's for babies. Do I stir that? Okay, this is blasphemy. Okay. Maybe it, it would have been better if it was uh, peppermint schnapps. That's not so bad. Oh, it's a little strong. So I should take a couple sips and top her off with a little eggnog. Um. This is for the victims of the Oakland fire. Uh. That was way too much uh, vodka. My aunt wanted to um, have that. Yeah, I'm not a big poison drinker, legal poison drinker, but I do it for you. I do it for you.